<laughs> I can't believe I'm going to have a new apprentice. Finally, someone who's actually going to understand my technology. Hmm. Speak of the devil. It's open. Ah, here you are, my new apprentice. Yes, I am that professor. Just call me by my name, Professor Dro. And what would be your name? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Please, come, come. It's been so many years since I've had an actual apprentice with me, so I can show them all the history of this futuristic things besides the wilderness of Pokemon. You agree? Well, I'm glad you agree, because there is just quite a lot of things out there besides, well, obviously the Pokemon, the wilderness, of course, but there's a lot more technological things that go on in the background that not a lot of people will uh, understand. But you, ever since that interview I had with you, I saw this spark in your eye, and that only proved to me that you're truly excited for what I need to teach. <laughs> Come here, come here, vamos, 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 vamos. Over here. This is my main computer. Yes, it's quite big because, well, you have the whole all sorts of information about all the Pokemon, so we need a lot of uh, space. Yes? All right. That corner over there will be your workspace. I know you already have your own technology and whatnot, so I set up a medium-sized workspace for you. If that's all right with you, if not, I can move you somewhere else that's bigger or even smaller. No, all right. You, you're fine with this. One thing? Tell me. As your professor... As your teacher, I'm always here to listen to my students, my apprentices. Hmm? Why do you mean nervous? Oh, I see. Let me tell you something. I, as well, was scared of setting off to this weird fantasy dream of making sure the future of Pokemon is up to date and whatnot. I was scared to find out what I would find searching through the histories and even finding out what the future will hold. It's scary to see that. I know. I know a lot about it. And trust me, I'm still scared to this day to figure out what's out there. But I still do it. Do you want to know why? Because there's a whole world out there to be exploring. New technology, new Pokemon, everything must be explored. Everything must be put down into data. Everything all comes back into digital data. Not a lot of people realize that, but the people behind that are making sure that the trainers of our future have an easier way of finding out what Pokemon or what type 
What are their weaknesses? What berries do they like? How will they evolve? Where will they evolve? What biome they will be living in? Everything comes back to technology and what we can do to push it into the future. Now I know, I know, I know, everything seems a lot. It seems like a lot. But with my guidance and your brains and my brains combined, we can take the future for ourselves and learn from it and take it with our bare fists and never let go of that future. Because I know it's out there. That future can be present. And yes, I know it will take a lot of time. A lot of time and a lot of patience. But I promise you, as your professor, I will do anything that is necessary to push our researches to make sure that our futures are as scientifically technological as possible. And it's nothing you have to worry about. Everything is in our hands. Freely. It's not a, a weight just drooping over us. It's not like there's an onyx on our shoulders. We have the future in our hands comfortably. And we can get it to the present at the wrong pace. Am I making sense to you? I knew you would. I knew you would listen to this. This is why you're going to be a great apprentice. You are going to be the future of the next generation. Because you will be a great professor. You will take my place, yes? In the future, of course, not now. <laughs> I mean when I'm long gone, passed away, into Arceus Gates. You will look after the future. I know you can do it. I believe in here, in my heart, in my stone-cold technological heart. <laughs> that you have the brightest of futures. As long as I teach you, of course. Now come, 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 come. I have a few fossils that I've saved, and they are nothing like the fossils that we have seen before in the past. These are brand new fossils, and I feel like I can add some technology to them if I make them just living. In short, I have a mission for you, my apprentice. I'm going to have you take these two fossils. I'm going to have you clean them and bring them to life. Because I have ideas for these two. These two brand new fossils from the past. I can bring these past creatures alive and put them into futuristic tents. I can change their DNA to make their typings different, make them more technological, make them more uh, advanced. So take these two. One of them is heavy. Be careful. <clears throat> you can take a... Uh, you know how to drive, right? Of course you do. All right. Take one of my vehicles, drive to the museum, 
They'll let you use their cleaning devices and tell them Professor Churo has sent you. They'll let you in with ease. Now go, my apprentice. Let the future guide you to your new world. Ha 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 ha!